Hello, I'm Juanita. Sorry if I sound weird, I have a cold at the moment. Okay, so, in my last video, I was super excited and nervous. And I was like, I'm gonna make an, an episode a month and have four entries for this contest. Let's go! Yeah, no. My plans have changed since then. I think that's doable for anyone who wants to do that, but I think it will be a mistake for me. I was planning on working on four separate stories, with the story I actually wanted to be doing, the last one, because I'm rusty at the moment, art-wise, from a really, really long break from drawing. And then I realized that I was going to make the same mistake this year that I made in the 2018 and the 2020 webtoon contests. The mistake was not putting enough planning into my comic at the start of things. In 2018, I had a vague idea of a story. I knew what I wanted the world to be like. I had some doodles of the characters. Basically, I had this very rough idea for a story before the contest was announced and then when it w and then I went for it when they announced the contest because I, I wanted to make a comic. I was more comfortable with clay than pencil at that point in my life, so I sculpted the designs for my characters. I modeled the setting, the ship on Gobba, in Blender. I didn't start the story where I wanted it to start, which was in a village when the characters were young. I didn't start there because I would have had to design young versions of the characters and important village characters such as the main character's family and a village for the setting. So I went with the starting later on in the story on the ship itself. I had exams and other things going on at the time, so I was super nervous. The nerves leaked into my story. The character that was meant to be this confident character was nervous. And the character that was meant to be the nervous character somehow ended up being confident. I don't know how the switch happened, but it happened. <laughs> Maybe it happened because I was feeling nervous and the main character was the character I was feeling closest to. I knew her the best at the time, so, so I subconsciously made her nervous as well. <laughs> now, I don't regret doing the 2018 contest, even though my story didn't turn out like I wanted it to. The contest got me to start the story that I was always just daydreaming about. It also made me more confident with drawing. Now, for the 2020 short story contest, I was not going to do it. I had decided to properly focus on my exams. I had exams again. Then about a week before the deadline, I decided that I just had to do it. I had been slowly working on my story since 2018. I was not happy with the law of the world and the design of Mirror, my main character. I tried other designs for her over the years, but I never settled on one I was happy with. Anyway, I only had a week to do this thing, so I used the character design that existed and that I was not happy with. Um, I also used like, other story elements I came up with other story elements to make the world make more sense in a short, a quick short story. And those things weren't really part of my world building and I wasn't happy to be including it. All of this in an effort to get an entry for the contest. It was an entry that I did not even end up submitting. I had done all the panels. The colouring was not complete, but it was good enough to submit. As I was putting it together and doing the text, I stopped. 
I had grown more and more dissatisfied as I put it together. It is the story that is scrolling past here, by the way. I put the last bit together without words for this video. Looking back at it now, I feel it's not as terrible as, as what I felt it was back then. Some of it is even cute for me. I like, I like my bird character. I had drawn him way back when I was in grade 8 and decided to make him part of my dream world. So I liked that part. I'll type the synopsis for it and put it in the description if you are curious about what's going on in the story. Another mistake I made with both the contests was being too close to the deadline. In 2018, I worked through, through the night, the day of the deadline, for the last episode. I got it done in time, but when I went to submit it, my internet freaked out and I struggled to upload it for over an hour. It finally uploaded, but the, the order of the slices was all wrong. I posted it like that because... There were a few minutes left on the clock. <laughs> then I immediately set to work fixing the order after submitting, but did not fix it in time. And I called I called this uh, the actual episode four. So that's what's there today. I deleted the mishap after the contest. Then in 2020, I only started the week before the deadline. <laughs> If I finished putting it together, I would have finished a day before the deadline. Not polished, but uploaded on time. I had made all the episodes together. Done all the sketching, then the line work, then the coloring for all of them. All as one long thing. And I would have submitted three episodes on one day. But another discouraging thing, being so close to the deadline was the audience. 40% of the judging criteria is audience engagement. For this year's contest too, by the way. And I still don't have much of a social media following, and did not back then. So I was mostly reliant on people finding me on Webtoon itself. So that's one of the reasons I felt discouraged to submit at the end of the tw for the 2020 contest. No time to get an audience for my comic because it's at the end. I took a deep breath after my last video, got my nerves and excitement under control and came up with a new plan for the call to action contest. Firstly, I have set my own deadline. I want to submit it in the first week of July that way it'll be in roughly a month before the official deadline, the 31st of July. I'm currently writing a rough outline for my whole story. So I know the world building and I know roughly where I'm going with it. I'm typically a discovery writer, but I'm giving outlining a go. It will give me a good foundation to build the story off of. And because I also like using the art, the, the art inspires me for like different things of the story. So having the outline be nice and loose, I can change things now and again and just fit things in according to how I want to later on down the line. I already had the first act roughly planned out earlier this year in bullet points. I was planning on finally rebooting my comic this year. And then the contest was announced. They have impeccable timing. Every time. <laughs> and there is a fight scene at the beginning. It happens in what would be the third or the fourth episode. But this contest requires no more than one episode for, the, for your story. And it must have a fight scene. So I'm doing this scene for the contest and will finally relaunch my comic properly after the contest.
but this the scene is co it's is canon it's it's what will happen so i'm happy with that i also want to make an oc animatic before i submit or while uh, when i submit for a contest i discovered these animatics earlier this year and have been wanting to make them ever since it looks like so much fun it will help me get used to drawing my characters and hopefully get people to like my characters and want to know more of their story. I'm doing a hundred days of sketching to get back into drawing. And for concept art as well. I need to settle on a design I'm happy with for my main character. I've still, I have an idea of what I want to do with her. Maybe I'll make a video about designing her. There's a lot of changes that I want to do, so I think it will be pretty interesting. I like making these videos, which makes it feel like I'm p part of something. Like I'm in a class working on a fun project like everybody else, and we all have the, to present our project at the end. Anyway, I had other issues with the previous entries, like look here at the thumbnails of my 2018 comic. The main character is in many of them, and just by looking at these four, th these four thumbnails, Mira is in many of them. She's called Alfie here, but her name's Mira. And just by looking at these four thumbnails, you can see her face changes and her hair becomes longer, even though it's like the, the course of events happens within a minute well, not a minute, but you get a few minutes on the ship. So that is what the story conveys. But, but her hair magically grows longer. These sort of things can be fixed by first of all making a design I'm happy with. And then making turnarounds and expression sheets for that design. I panicked at the start of this contest. Feeling like I'm not ready for my story. I mean, I tried it before and it's like, I've still got so much writing I want to do, so I panicked. After looking back at the previous contests I did, at the good and the bad parts of them, I've calmed down and realized I am finally ready to tell the story I've always been wanting to tell. I have no exams this time, which is good. And it's only one episode to make. Both times beforehand was more than one episode. So that's good. And I almost made the freaking, the same mistake. Can you believe it? Of just making four episodes and not having the planning done. <sighs> Obviously it will be nice to win something this contest. We'd all like that, right? But the biggest win for me would be to finally start doing the story of I have been dreaming of. So remember, don't panic. Plan properly. Do the story you want to do. Or use the contest to find a story you want to tell if you don't have one yet. Have fun. And good luck if you have exams or anything else going on. And good luck for the contest too, friends. But thank you. Bye.